What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Poppy. We're back at it today with another video. Today's video, we have another sneaker unboxing. And today's unboxing is some people's sneaker of the year. This shoe has gained a ton of hype on social media. I feel like ever since they were announced, people have been talking about this shoe. And they recently just released a few weeks ago. I still see people talking about them every day. The actual release of this shoe is going to be this Friday. So if you still haven't got them, you still have another chance to pick them up this Friday for retail. And that is going to be the J-Tips Time Ciccone Pro Grid 9 in this beautiful pink, blue, purple, even some green. Beautiful colorway right here. As I mentioned, the streets have been going crazy for these ever since J-Tips first previewed these at Paris Fashion Week back in February, I believe. But anyways, before we get into the video, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe and feel free to find me on Instagram to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. I'm definitely very excited to style this pair. I'm gonna try to get a fit pick this week in them. I'll probably post a little short too to show you guys how I style these. But anyways, let's get into the video. All right, let's start with the box. The box is pretty much the same color as the shoes. So it gives a pretty good representation of what the shoe is going to look like when you open the box. Here's we have a J-Tips logo right here. On the bottom of the box, it says your day just got more comfortable. And then just realize I probably totally butchered the name of this shoe in the intro. The model is actually going to be the Pro Grid Omni 9. Official colorway is pink, purple, rose, slash violet. I got a size 10 and a half. And there's the sizing label. And once again, I apologize for totally butchering the model of the shoe. I'm still new to Ciccone. If you guys are new to the channel, I recently just picked up the End Clothing Time Ciccone Pro Grid Triumph 4s. That was my first Ciccone purchase. This is going to be my second. Inside the box, you just get regular paper, which is kind of disappointing. No special paper. And also no extra laces as well, which is also disappointing. The shoe did retail at $180. With all the colors on the shoe, I would have thought we would have got some extra laces. However, no extra laces. Anyways, beggars can't be choosers. Let's get to the shoe. And bang, here they are. J-Tips Time Ciccone Pro Grid Omni 9 in this beautiful pink, violet, Baby blue, navy blue, green colorway, purple in there as well. Tried to name all the colors. And honestly, these are magnificent in hand. Now, there was another colorway that came out alongside these. That was more of a cream tannish pair with all these colors as well. Honestly, I've always liked this color the best. After I won the raffle on the J-Tips website, I kept seeing pictures of the tan pair. And I was like, man, maybe I should have got the tan pair. But after getting these in hand, I'm definitely not disappointed with this colorway. I do like about this colorway that stands out is this navy midsole. I just feel like it adds a nice contrast and break up to what's going on on this upper. And also, this hit of green on the insole, it's nothing crazy at all. But it just adds a nice pop of color on here. Not that there's already not enough pops of color. But the green, really, really good added touch. I think J-Tips did an incredible job on these. Now, this is not his first Ciccone collaboration. He actually had his first Ciccone collaboration that came out last year. I apologize. I forgot what model that was on. But honestly, I was not a big fan of those. I'm going to keep it 100%. I did not like those at all. I know a lot of people went crazy for those. A lot of people like those. Personally, it just wasn't my style. I felt like they were a little bit too wild. Now, maybe I'm contradicting myself a little bit because these are pretty wild. But I just like this model better than the other ones he did. It's my personal preference. Now getting into some details on the upper. The upper consists of mesh, leather. One thing I do like on this mesh is this, this honeycomb pattern right here. Now this is my first pair of Omni Grid 9s. So I'm not sure if they all come with this honeycomb pattern. That's what I'm going to call it by the way. I'm not sure the official term. It just reminds me of honeycombs. <laughs> Anyways, I really like that detail. I think it looks really cool. Especially in this fruit punch red colorway. This is a beautiful shade of red and pink combined. Once again, it reminds me of Fruit Punch. I know that's probably not the official colorway for this particular color, but that's what I'm calling it because that's what it reminds me of. I love the Ciccone logo and the baby blue. Once again, the color choices he used are very on par with his aesthetic. If you follow J-Tips or know about him, you know that he loves these bright, bold colorways. I was first introduced to J-Tips because I used to be in the hats and I saw his collaborations with Hat Club and they were always very out there colorways not really my style on hats but with shoes i can get down with it 
but I definitely like. He really sticks in his ballpark. He plays with these crazy colors, and somehow they all work together, and it turns into to be a really good looking shoe. Now, as I mentioned, they don't come with extra laces. They only come with these purple laces. Honestly, if you could find a pair of navy laces or baby blue laces, I think that would look really good in these as well. In terms of J-Tips branding, you do have the Savior logo right here, and then you have this Globe logo on the side here as well. I believe this is J-Tips logo. I'm not 100% sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Honestly, I'm just getting introduced to J-Tips. Once again, I followed his hat class, but I didn't buy any. But now with the Sacconi collaborations, paying a lot more attention to his work. I'm not going to take the insole out, but it does say comfortable shoes on the insole. I believe that is a J-Tips autograph. So speaking of the nickname of this shoe, he nicknamed these the to-do list because when you have a lot of things you want to do in a day, you like to put on comfortable shoes to go run your errands, etc. And that's what he wants people to do in these. When they have a list of things they got to do, they got to go out, run to the post office, go to the grocery, throw these on your feet. You're going to want a comfortable shoe to do all those things. So that's why he named these the to-do list. Getting in the sizing on these, I went with my true size, 10 and a half, and they fit me absolutely perfect. They are a little snug at first, but honestly, I just tried them on. I literally just opened the box today. Once you actually wear these and break them in, they're going to fit absolutely perfectly. So that's what I recommend. I would recommend going true to size and you should be good. If you do have a wider foot, you might want to consider going up half a size. They are a little bit snug at first, so definitely keep that in mind. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, these shoes are dropping on September 20th. I believe they're dropping on Sacconi's website and they're dropping at boutiques around the US. I believe he posted a list, I'm not 100% sure, but I saw a list today for someone on Twitter. So definitely do your research online. You can probably find a boutique that is getting a pair and most likely they're gonna do a raffle because I believe these are pretty limited. Even though he did say stock is higher for these than they were the first pair. But as always, I think the demand is exceeding the number of pairs available for these. Do your homework and do your raffles and hopefully you get lucky. That's going to do the video. You guys let me know what you guys think about these. Are these the sneaker of the year for you? Please let me know in the comments down below. I know a lot of people, they're probably going to be a little bit too loud for them. Yet again, a lot of people love these. They say they're the sneaker of the year. Personally, in my opinion, it's not my favorite pickup of the year, but I think it's definitely going to be in the top 10 at the end of the day. I got to see a list of all my pickups and then compare from there. But definitely one of the best shoes to come out this year and one of the coolest, most unique colorways to come out on a shoe this year. That is 100% certain. But anyways, it is your boy Wingstop Poppy. I'm about to get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.